So in some previous videos, we talked about what it means for a limit of a function to exist at a. This would imply that there may be cases where the limit does not exist for particular values of a. So let's first of all write, again, practicing our notation, what we mean for the function, the limit of the function, as x approaches a to be l. So we include all pieces as x approaches a of our function f equals l. So there's lots of things that are said there that may not be so obvious. One of which, our l here is a number, which means it's less than infinity. It's one thing it says. Another thing it says, which we talked about in previous videos, is that the limit as x goes to a means that as it goes to a from either side of a. So we know that the limit as x approaches a from the left equals the limit as x approaches a from the right, and both of those equal l. That's something that this original statement also says. Um, another thing that it says is that it goes towards one number. So we'll look at cases, perhaps, where a function can't decide which number to go to, which would mean it would violate this statement right here. And lastly, what it says is it does not go towards plus or minus infinity. So all those, th these three statements are actually embedded in this one big statement up here. So if one of these conditions is not met, then that would imply that this limit of f as x approaches a does not exist. So let's go ahead and look at some examples where these conditions are not met. Now, on the first one, we've already seen an example, but we'll, we'll sketch another one here. So if I have this particular function, I'll make one really easy. So there's my a value right there. So here, let's say this, we'll even give this a value. We'll say that's 1 and that's 2. So clearly, let's change colors just to spice it up. The limit as x approaches a from the left of f of x equals 1. This says the limit as x approaches a from the right is of f is 2. Since these are not equal, then the limit as x approaches a of f of x does not exist. And you know, if you were to write this up as solution, you would say since the limit as x approaches a from the left of f of x does not equal the limit as x approaches a from the right of f of x, then this limit does not exist. Okay? So if it doesn't have the same left and right handed limits, we say it doesn't exist. All right, let's look at a case where it does have the same left and right handed behavior, but it can't decide where it's going. So perhaps you recognize this very bad sketch Ooh, of the sine function. Now, if I'm talking about the limit as x goes towards infinity, so as I get bigger and bigger and bigger, where is the value of my function tending? Well, it's bouncing back. It goes as high as 1, and then it dips back down to negative 1. And then it goes again as high as 1, and it dips back down to negative 1. So as x gets really, really large, this function can't decide where it's going. So this case, the limit as x approaches, we'll write infinity of f of x does not exist. Because it doesn't tend towards one number. Okay. Perhaps it does do the same thing on either side, but it's not going towards a number. So maybe my function looks like this. And this is, this is right here, x equals to a. So as you can see, the limit as x approaches a from the left 
is blowing up towards infinity and it is also blowing up towards infinity as X approaches A from the right. They do match, however, they don't go to a finite number. So we would say, and this would be right to say, the limit as X approaches A, oh, the limit as X approaches A of F of X does not exist. That is certainly true, but in cases of infinity, we usually include in what behavior it doesn't exist. So you would say the limit as X approaches A, let's make sure you can see that, of f of x equals infinity. Now this answer is sufficient. It tells me not only that the, the limit doesn't exist at a, but that it exists, it doesn't exist at a because it tends towards infinity. So this is the preferred answer.